I am at the now famous Pell City, Alabama. Pell City is named after a couple of railroaders. It's famous because this place is in the news. Fresh value. And the reason why this little supermarket is in the news is because not only can you buy bread, eggs, bananas, apples, you name it, but they have a vending machine that sells bullets. So we are gonna go as incognito as we can, which is not too much, and go see what going shopping is like here. My name is Jeff. I'm visiting what no other YouTuber has probably visited so far. It's Pell City, Alabama. So if you like this sort of stuff, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Can you imagine in 1903, 1910, 1920, 1930, going into his pharmacy and crossing this street? Yeah, it took a train to get here. That would take hours. Maybe even a day. They took a just to get to the closest big city of Birmingham. So you know, this street where it just cuts off. Only a few two-story buildings. That would be the drugstore where I'm sure they lived up above. So far it's a nice store. Really big vegetable section. Now it's a cost plus 10 which I find amazing. $1.50 for five pounds of potatoes. It costs plus 10, means they add 10% of a register to a cost. I think they add 10%, it's not priced in. However, in this state, they charge on sales tax, which is never nine. It used to be 10% in some places. That's a massive blown on each hub. These things give you a good demographic of like where you are local taste, you know, all the biscuit flour and fried foods, cans of stuff, not much spaghetti, little bit of spaghetti, not much pizza making stuff, very small Mexican section, you know, lots of potatoes, things like that. It's not a big store at all. Craft snacks, hard work pays off, appreciate the good times, and so on and so forth. If all of you, my cousin Vinny jokes about quick and instant grits. Here's an entire display of them. That's the biggest variety I've seen so far anywhere. Just, I mean, so far it's clean and it's nice, but the problem is that the prices are not that different anywhere else. And they can tell me they're going to charge 10% on top of all of this, plus the 9 I don't know what percentage is here, but some places are 9% sales tax. I think that makes this place more expensive. It's a debactionist store within a store. Cigarettes, cigars, CBD, vape? <laughs> Seriously? It's absolutely huge, too. Very small rice section. Small pizza section. Lots and lots of hamburger helper stuff and ramen. Lots of cans of chili. <laughs> There it is, right across from the register. <laughs> so if I did that, it'd be really uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> because right here you got the register. The vending machine was right across from the cashier. You could not use that thing without bumping into someone um, in line and being watched or whatever. It's not like vending machines out front of a store. It's literally... And this is my haul from that store. A lot of things are about the same price, but then you're adding 10% on it. Um, but some things, some canned goods were actually a decent price. The potatoes were an excellent price and apparently they were on sale, buck fifty. That was lucky. Now if you check the receipt, Fresh Valley, this is how it works. You get your net cost, and then you get your cost plus 10, which is their so-called profit and overhead, I imagine. And then you have sales tax on top of that. You see it's about the same price. So the sales tax on the 10% profit 
So I'm guessing it's about eight, nine percent, probably nine percent. So it feels like you're paying tax twice. So if I'm going and buying a, a, a so if I'm buying a green pepper and strawberries for the same prices I get at my local supermarkets, I don't know if prices are going for there. Maybe over there that's actually a good price um, because they're farther out. And I just noticed the bags I get are cut uh, are Marshall's bags, but for rejects. <laughs> so <laughs> they save money on that too. It's not even a generic bag or a, it's a closeout bag. The <laughs> bullet machine where everyone's going on about in the news was like two like two feet from the checkout line so it was if you had like multiple checkouts you know you have to really make a big show out of it I'm sure that machine probably makes noise too <laughs> so even just looking at the machine makes you uncomfortable because it's so close to a line you have to bump people out of the way who are in line to use that machine I can't imagine how much sales they can get in that thing if that's how it's gonna be um, I was expecting machines like in the front you know between next to a shopping carts or whatever uh, you know out inside at least not outside but where they stuck that stuff uh, uh, it wasn't even like maybe if they put that near the tobacconist it might have been easier to use but I couldn't imagine using any of the machines right there that was just Personally, for a trip I made to get here, it's not really worth coming here a second time for me. If you live in a neighborhood, you know, that's not what my my uh, review is for. So this is Jeff. I have visited Pell City, Alabama. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, I hope... I hope there was something interesting in this. This is not the most... Uh, fascinating experience that I could have done on this channel <laughs> but I wanted to get to as while well. the news is fresh and I guess I got clickbait by the news.